YouTube, welcome to the very first break of the RBL as this week we've got another battle against the Jewish Giraffe. I believe this is the third time I faced him in the past week, which is which is a lot, which is a lot, but all of our battles are really close or either he sweeps me, either or. Uh, we're going to be looking forward to a really good battle, but if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try to get to five likes as always. And this week, well, this this time we're going to be doing an NFE are you an under battle? I misinterpreted as a NFE and nothing above are you and things like that. Um, yeah, so he brought in a powerful, powerful team while I brought in a bunch of Pokemon that I've always wanted to try out. And I think I, I still have a legit shot at winning this battle because my Pokemon do fare up well against him. And if I play my Pokemon properly, then hey, we might turn out on top. So let's start this battle. And let's hope for the best. I, I I really want to use a bunch of these little guys. I have never done any of these battles, so he's gonna lead up with these tusks. And thanks to a couple battles with some people, I know that this thing's really bulky, but I can just actually go for a bulk up and get super bulky because totally Crump, that's right, Crump is here, can actually eat up a lot of these hits and do a bunch of shenanigans. So I know this mon can bulk up and become really, really powerful, so. I'm just going to keep on doing these shenanigans as he's going to go into Get Murked, which is pretty annoying because Murkrows have Prankster and they're annoying mons, but I predict that switch in and just go for a Ice Punch, which doesn't do a lot, surprisingly. I'm a bit surprised about that. I'm shocked even. So I know that this Murkrow is going to go for a Thunder Wave and I'm just going to go to Ego No G because he has a huge ego, but he actually goes for a Roost, which is... Surprising, Get Murked is proving to be once again very annoying, as usual, but I'm in a decent position. Ego no G can do a bunch of things, and I apologize, for, I apologize if I mispronounce any of these mons' names. I don't really know the names of the actual mons. Like what they are, not their nicknames. I know what their nicknames are. So I'm just going to go for a knockoff, get rid of this thing's uh, Eviolite. And I figured, hey, if I go for another knockoff, I'm going to be at a decent position. So, double knockoff for the win over here, as I'm going to knock off this Seedrus uh, Scope Lens, which is pretty scary, but hey, that's huge. If I keep on knocking off a lot of these Pokemon's items, I'm going to be in a good position. So, I'm just going to my Spritzy, which can eat up any of any hits, pretty much. As uh, we see that the Ice Beam does absolutely nothing, and he's going to focus energy. That is frightening. That's right, that's Crit Crit Cedra right there. Oh boy. This is this is a scary moment in my life. And I'm like, alright. Alright, Spritzy. I think he might have misclicked there. Uh, going for the double focus energy. That was somewhat interesting. But uh Spritzy's actually just gonna take out Cedra and get its wish up. So I'm looking pretty good over here. I'm doing pretty, pretty awesome. As three fingers totally walls my team, so. I'm scared. I'm gonna have to go into Thug Life, cause Thug Life has a has a problem with people. It's, it's, it's got a, it's, it's a scary mon, and uh, Thug Life's not gonna take this uh, flash uh, flash cannon well at all. I could have gone for the Calm Mine or anything like that, but I'm just gonna go down to a crit over here, which is a bit unfortunate. So Thug Life <laughs> will faint from the Thug Life, but I have Adam Lampent over here. Which means I am choice. I do believe I'm choice scarfed, so I can easily knock out this thing. But he has a couple answers to this mon. That being slippery, the uh, dragonair. There we go. And at this point, I wasn't gonna make any over predictions. Uh, overheat was a safe play, but that does a lot. And I'm gonna get a special attack harshly drop, which means I don't want to stay in this match because I'm not gonna do a lot. So he's free to go for a Dragon Dance or something like that. And uh, this is quickly, quickly going to turn into a slippery match, I guess, as you can tell over here. As Catch a Ride, the uh, Rhydon will attempt to do some big damage, but it's just going to go for the Swords Dance. And this is a frightening Mon, a very, very frightening Mon, as I'm going to disable its Swords Dance, which means it can't go for Swords Dance anymore. But this earthquake should easily knock me out. Uh, Spritzy may be bulky, but a plus two right on. Spritzy ain't gonna take that. Ain't gonna take that at all, as I have to go into Adam Lampent. And uh, hopefully, 
the energy ball will do enough damage, but he makes the proper play and doesn't overpredict as Get Merch once again comes through this annoying little thing. It may it, it may not have an EV light, but it's still equally as annoying. Uh, so I'm doing <laughs> slow damage over here. Fortunately for me, I do get the special defense drop, but I decide it's not proper for me to stay in even with the special defense drop. Uh, Ego no G can actually just stay in here and do a bit of wrecking of the shop. And uh, as long as I can get a KO with this Mon, I'm going to be in a great, great position. But that's me trying to take down a bunch of his Mons with this guy, which it does, it does relatively well against everyone. So I'm going to go for a taunt over here, which means nothing because it's oblivious the only time that oblivious really really works out and uh doesn't work out for me over here i i could have just mm, yeah that was interesting so this earthquake is easily going to take me down i don't even know how fast that hp went but whew, that was a play i wasn't expecting at all and i did not expect that that to go down that quick so i gotta go for the dragon dance Hope for the best. I know that this thing's most likely gonna have Ice Shard or something like that. Or an Icicle Crash. But he misses once again. This is the second time in the two matches that he misses the Icicle Crash. But at this point, I gotta go for Outrage. Hope for the best. And uh, hopefully take down his uh, Pillow Swine. But that's not gonna work out because, you know, it doesn't. And he gets another crit. So... I'm not looking pretty good over here. Those two crits, mm, that sucked, that sucked, but hey, what can we do about it? So at this point, I have to set up and really, really try to pull this battle back because at this moment, it ain't going well. It ain't going well at all. And I've ran out of switch ins for this Murkrow, which is a bit odd when you think about it, but I gotta keep on going for ball cups. Hopefully I can take one hit from something and stay at a decent amount of HP and at the same time hopefully I can take out this Murkrow so I'm just gonna keep on going for bulk ups and try to get as bulky as I can because you know what you're not a Slay King yet and there's a reason why you're just not bulky enough and I'm just gonna pretend to slap a bunch of things in mid-air I don't know what that was I don't know where he learned Kung Fu but that was sloppy that was definitely sloppy and he's just gonna go for the Dark Pulse pair of flinches, which means I'm getting a bit salty over here. Getting a bit, bit salty, but once he, he's a nice guy and actually goes for a taunt. So at this moment, I have to go for taunt. Once again, slap a bunch of air, pretend that something is getting slapped or balked or something like that. And uh, yeah, Totally Crump is doing a good job. Star of this match, perhaps star of this match, as Slippery's gonna come out, and I'm like, all right, Slippery can wreck everything on my team. And uh, I still have a pretty good chance of winning this battle. I just gotta take out the Slippery with a Ice Punch, but that doesn't happen, and I'm like, all right, I can still take it out. I'm at a decent amount of HP where Bulk Up should be able to take this hit, but he sleeps. And I thought this was the Shed Skin set or something like that. And uh, I'm, I'm still in a good position. I can go for a return over here, do a decent amount of damage. And uh, still, I'm, I'm in a good position. That, that wasn't that fared out for me because my taunt will wear off. I can actually just go for an Ice Punch or return and simply take this thing out. As long as he doesn't get Outrage. But what do you know? He gets the Outrage. I'm going to get slapped. And once again, he gets another crit. That crit mattered, for sure. I'm pretty sure that did. So at this moment, I have to go into Adam Lampit. I'm like, all right, this Dragonair is going to go down. It's got to go down finally, because you know what? That was not, that was not nice. That was not nice at all. I get the special defense drop. And uh, it's still fast asleep, but it's it's got the sleep talk. So we know something's going to be happening. We know something's going to be happening. And uh, fortunately for me, he gets another Dragon Dance, which is, that's good, that's fair. But uh, he can actually wake up at this moment and the Shed Skin will activate, which means Outrage will take me out and 
that is not good. That is not good at all. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> we uh, we lost pretty bad in that match. Uh, good game to the Jewish Giraffe. Uh, it sucks a bit about, about the crits, but what can you do? That's Pokemon. Next week, we're going to be having our battle with him, that one that really matters. So this was a bunch of fun to just mess around with these Pokemon. It's pretty funny that we both have Dragonairs. And uh, it's just, it's, it's our, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of these NFE battles a lot more because you don't really see this, these mons. And it's actually a pretty fun battle. It's, it's pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to watch more, be sure to subscribe and do all of the above. But I'm going to get going. This is Cap, signing off.